Hello! Today I'll transform this old cordless power drill nickel cadmium battery to lithium battery by using 18650 Sony BTC5 cells. First of all, it is neat to open battery housing. This one is made without any screws, so it is neat to grab a small screwdriver and try to split this case in two parts at join line. Cut off main battery connector for future use. To monitor the state of battery I used LiPo battery voltage tester with low voltage buzzer alarm. This one is very popular in RC world. It will show total voltage of battery pack and all separate voltages of cells connected in series. I'll made a few modifications to get better fit inside the battery case. First, remove plastic cover, marked negative and positive terminals, desolder it and solder buzzers to opposite board side to get flush fit with battery case. With Dremel, made a hole to fit voltage meter. At left side, drilled and filed small hole for on and off power meter switch. Prepare the place for balanced wire connector and glued with super glue. The main part of this build is 18650 lithium cells. I used Sony VTC5 cells with 2600 mAh of capacity. I choose them because they are able to give up to 30 amps at discharge. At the moment in the market are a lot of fake Sony VTC5 cells, so it is quite easy to get not what you are paying for. Mine cells came from gearbest.com and I can confirm that they are authentic. Here is a few my notice which could indicate that cells are authentic. First of all, they came in a plastic box. Second, all four cells have serial number in line. Equal voltage is a good sign too. There are a lot of information on the internet how to identify fake Sony VTC5 cells. Just type in Google fake Sony VTC5. Once again, gearbest.com it's trusted seller for Sony VTC5 cells. I'll leave a link in the description for this product. With hot glue and plastic spacers between cells, I glued 18650 cells in needed shape. Pretinate and soldered all three cells in series by using two nickel stripe pieces from all laptop batteries. Any thick wire will work too. For cordless power tools it is needed high drain lithium batteries. 15 amps or more. 
so reuse cells from all laptop batteries isn't an option. They will work, but power tool don't have his full power, because 18650 from laptop batteries have very low maximum discharge current. Usually it is from 3 to 5 amps. Solder wires to positive and negative battery pack terminals and original battery connector. After that, soldered balance wire between each cell. I used a pair of balance wires. One will be used for battery charging, other one to connect low voltage power meter. Black balance wire from power meter will be controlled by on-off switch. This switch simply gives a ground to negative meter terminal and power it on. With super glue, glued power meter in place. Made some epoxy glue to fix main battery connector back to its place. Alarm was set by clicking small push button at a top of voltage meter. VTC5 cells can be discharged to 2.5 volts, but I don't want to push them too hard, so I'll set alarm at 3 volts. When one of 3 cells connected in series will reach this or lower voltage, buzzer will start beeping. That's the sign to charge battery back. Glued buzzer speakers to get more comfortable beeping sound level. Much better. With hot glue, glued 18650 cells in battery case. Glued battery case with epoxy glue and left it to dry. Join line was sealed very nicely. To charge it up, I used my IMAX B6 charger, connected balance wire and clips to positive and negative battery terminals. Set it to charge at 2 amps, but that's not a limit. After 80 minutes, battery was fully charged.
Let's test how the wheel performs with three 8cm long wood screws. And now at full power. I could tell that the loop performs as at its best days in 99s when it was made. Let's compare battery weight. All nickel cadmium battery weights 470 grams. Lithium battery twice less, 240 grams. Very good improvement. So, old cordless drill is not only bring back to life, but we have fresh lithium ion battery with 2600 mAh of capacity and power meter which lets you know the state of battery. If this video was helpful, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.